go. All right, so yeah, this is uh, going to be a really, really stupid submission. <laughs> yeah, so this guy, uh, he's I use this, my strategy here called Hadouken. It's a creative name. It's about as creative as the strategy is used is good, like in terms of skill. <laughs> But th this guy seems to be really like vulnerable to this for some reason. By the way, one thing, uh, I'm not loading state anymore, uh, like I did in my uh, first attempt playthrough. I'm if you power cycle the game enough, uh, you'll end up getting or uh, you'll end up getting the same combination of characters after a while. So I use that to my advantage, so that I can pull off this super douchey strategy here that I'm gonna use. This is not skilled at all, by the way. <laughs> this... anything I do here is just random crud that seems to work, apparently. You know what they say, play to your strengths, and my strengths aren't Street Fighter, my strengths are AI abuse, I guess. So then again, I guess I don't have to be very skilled at AI abuse to know spam Hadouken over and over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can even get like perfects against this guy just by spamming Hadouken on him, it's ridiculous. I didn't uh, look up anything online regarding this. Yeah, that failed. <laughs> I tried to execute a special move, but I'm so slow at those that I usually just get pummeled for it, even when they're dizzy. But, yeah, online all I've looked at is basically like the basic move set of Ryu, who I just happened to choose because I accidentally pressed the A button, but once I was started to get familiar with him, I was like, I'm not going to switch now, this is, that would be stupid. So yeah, that's one guy down, <laughs> one victory. Yeah, don't give up. One day you might learn to block. All right, Karen. Actually, someone of a normal name, not like E Honda. What does it even stand for? I don't know. And why would the other people's first names be in there? But uh, that guy has his last name, and then his first name's just abbreviated. I don't get it. All right, so this strategy is perhaps requires the most skill, but it's not exactly skill. It's just slightly more steps. Basically, uh, if she gets close, punch. If she starts blocking that punch, like standing just too far away, you can do like a down kick on her. And if she's farther away, Hadouken, and she'll probably jump into it, like a moron. <laughs> That's pretty much all there is to this fight, in terms of what I do, anyway. She likes to do that a lot, where she uh, does that move into the Hadouken. You can get her to do it, like, five times in a row. I'm not sure if I... yeah, I, I happen to win this fight with just a tiny scrap of HP left. I know you get a uh, score for having more HP, but at least if that vital means what I think it means. Who's that creep over on the right with the sunglasses? What on earth is he doing there? <laughs> it's just... But yeah, I'm not gonna try for score, because I have a feeling anybody who actually knows what they're doing is going to uh, beat me in the score department anyway. I've just got to hope that nobody figures out my garbage strats, and yeah, I could have taken, probably should have capitalized on that, but. So yeah, this is... If I end up beating someone because of this, it's probably not because I'm a better player. Though I am slightly better than this video and my uh, first video of Imply. Like, I, I did gain some skill, but not really anything big. 
I can beat one of these guys like once every 20 attempts or so legit, but that's certainly not going to make it to the end, that's for sure. So, Moron number three. I use that move at the start because it seems to be quite effective, and then I keep using this move over and over again because she really likes to run into this. I try another special move. Did it work? Yeah, it actually did. I can't remember because I, I try those all the time when they're dizzy and it doesn't usually work. Yeah, she used her special move, but it's too late now. And even when she's using her special and going all hyper mode, she just kind of jumps over me a whole bunch. While I do that down kick thing with the circle button. <laughs> This person, I mean, this time around she seems to be playing a little bit smarter, but yeah, now she's just getting locked into this again. Special move, and nope. <laughs> Didn't happen. Because I suck. <laughs> and that's person number three down, so I win three. But alas, all good things come to an end. I suppose that doesn't apply to this, because I suppose this is a bad thing, rather, but... <laughs> um... <coughs> My cheap... I have a cheap strat here, too, but it's it's not nearly as effective as the other ones are. I took a whole ton of attempts at this and only did it, like, once, and only had it work, like, once. This first time around when I'm fighting him, it works absolutely horribly. Partly because I only succeed at the Hadoukens at all the wrong moments. But yeah, unlike uh, Karen, Zankeef actually comes closer and blocks, and then attacks, which is exactly the last thing I want because it actually thwarts it. This, unlike her, I randomly do attacks off to the side strategy. Yeah, it's going pretty well so far. He's just run into a couple of Hadoukens. But now's where I start messing up the Hadoukens and he gets a grab. I know that this game is supposed to be really balanced, but this... I'm not sure how, because this is, uh... This guy can take out like half my life bar with uh, that one grab attack. And in fact, there's another one that's slightly worse in terms of hurting me. Like, I don't really care here, because it's not like I win, but I'm not sure how it would... if two people are fighting each other in, like, a tournament or something, I don't understand how... because he doesn't seem to be slow. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to this game and his attacks seem a little bit slower if you're a lot faster on the controller. So, yeah, that's...